Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Eric, and today is my first day in Paris. I'm here for uh, sim training for the next week, and uh, gonna be learning how to fly the Embraer E2-195 aircraft. So today I have off to reset my, my clock. And I'm gonna go explore for a little bit. I'm gonna go for a walk. I'm gonna go uh, see how everything goes. I'm probably gonna be gone for like the next four hours. So come join me for my first time being in Paris. All right, today has been such a beautiful day. It's 19 degrees Celsius outside. I'm outside in a t-shirt and shorts. It's wonderful. I'm going for about a 50 minute walk to be able to catch up to uh, Trailhead. And there's like the second largest park in Paris. We're gonna check it out. It's like nine miles long or something like that. So it should take me a little over three hours to do. What else to do on such a beautiful day when it's potentially gonna be cloudy for the rest of the week. So take advantage of the nice weather while we can. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm so excited. So my walk is taking me outside of the Museum of Air and Space. I'm gonna come down here one of the days this week to uh, check it out because uh, they got a lot of really cool things here. They got uh, things like an Airbus A380, a couple spaceships, you know, they have uh, Concorde prototype 001. Just a lot of really cool things. I'm really looking forward to spending some time here. You can see the tips of the spacecraft right over there. It's insane how tall they really are. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna come here when I have a full day to explore. Tomorrow will be a full study day, but the day after, depending on how soon it goes, I might go do that. And they have a gift shop. You know that Emily's getting a gift from the airplane museum. Look how cool that is. Wow. But today is walk day because it is so nice out and the rest of the days are supposed to be raining. Something that I encountered at a few of the Canadian museums was actually previous aircraft that I had flown in commercial operations being on display. I had a Hawker 748 and a couple of Convair 580s now. Oh, uh, 737s as well because <laughs> they've been around since the 1960s. So I've really only flown old airplanes. All right, my friends, we've made it to the Parc Georges Valbon. Probably butchered the hell out of that, but what a beautiful park. Like, oh my God, look at this view. Just incredible trees absolutely everywhere. I can't believe it. It is so gorgeous. It feels like summertime because there's so many green trees and leaves and what an incredible time of year to come and visit this place. I had no clue. I honestly thought that I was coming to uh, Toronto where it's like six degrees or seven degrees. It is beautiful outside right now. My God, I don't believe this. There are like 40 or 50 sheep in the park eating all the grass. What a good idea. And look how many there are. I don't know if they're lambs or sheep. They just look like they were sheared. You can still see the lines on them. But oh my gosh. Look at them. They're so cute. Oh my gosh, you guys, there's babies. Look how small they are. They're so itty bitty. Hello, my friends. Hello, my friends. 
go see your parents. Oh my goodness, they are just the cutest. Hi guys. You are so cute. You eat that grass for them, okay? Yeah, you eat that grass for them. Good job, guys. Oh, you got green dots. You must be a rider fan. That officially just made my day. It might be the highlight of my whole trip, I'm not gonna lie. I don't think you guys can comprehend how beautiful it is here without seeing it. It's like Stanley Park in Vancouver, but on steroids. Like, the trees are huge. The weather's just gorgeous. No one's here. It's very empty. And it's just, it's a beautiful, beautiful park. They actually even have horse riding trails here. Like, they've got everything, you guys. It's a huge piece of land. Like, it's just gorgeous. It is so nice. It's so beautiful. I think a big part of it is it is absolutely gorgeous out today. My back is on fire because it's so warm right now. I'm so glad I'm wearing a shirt. I was considering wearing my tank top and I said, uh, <laughs> let's get some sunscreen before we do that one. Oh, this tree is beautiful, you guys. Take a look. When that has leaves on it, it must just look incredible. They have multiple of them, actually. There's one over there, too. That is gorgeous. I couldn't imagine what this place looks like in fall when all the leaves start turning orange. God, it must be so beautiful. Definitely gonna be having to come back for a trip because, wow. I'm not gonna lie, I did like zero research before coming here. And now that I'm here, I wish I would've done some research because it, it so far exceeds my expectations of what I thought I was gonna be expecting coming here. They even have like suspension bridges at that playground. Not only did this silly goose make it to France, but those silly gooses made it to France too. Hate those things. Freaking goose. I climbed the highest hill that I could find in this area of the park so I can get a good view. I got a little surprised because if you take a look, I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see it here, the Eiffel Tower, way off in the distance. What a beautiful day. I couldn't ask for a better day to sit, relax, I'm not sitting or relaxing, I'm walking and huffing and puffing because I'm going up steep hills, but what a great introduction to Paris. Well, a short walk turned into a long walk because we just hit 10 kilometers total and uh, we're only about two-thirds of the way done. I'm heading back to the entrance of this park and it's so easy just to explore all these trails. There's so much to see so I took a little bit more time than what uh, I anticipated for which I'm totally happy with. Getting my dose of vitamin D. Couldn't ask for anything better on a Friday afternoon morning. We're just getting back to the hotel. Just ticked over 15 kilometers. I think it was a good thing to do since I've been sitting for literally the last 14 hours, if not longer. So my knees are a little sore. I'm going to shower, 
go lay down and then go for dinner with the crew. So I'll see you back in the hotel room. It is six o'clock. I'm gonna head downstairs for dinner. I got back, showered, had a really nice nap. Now I'm gonna go eat some dinner with the crew. I'm gonna finish off this video right now. We're in Paris, it's day one. So I appreciate you all tuning in. I will see you in the next one. Good night.